guys i know in south africa there's plenty of companies uh, that do polls predicting a uh, election result but i'm not one of those and i want to do my own prediction specifically for mr getting mckenzie as patriotic alliance i want to do a poll for them and predict what i think might happen in the future for the patriotic alliance so i believe firstly that patriotic alliance come 2026 is gonna lose plenty of votes it's gonna lose a lot of vote and come 2029 i believe patriotic alliance will be destitute would be gone would be nowhere to be seen and if it's still there it won't have the same popularity it has now yeah mr gaten mckenzie is popular he's popular as an individual he's famous as an individual and he's not famous for patriotic alliance he's famous for being a government official for the gnu he's famous for the gnu so everything he does is for the gnu everything he does is because of the power he has within the ministry given by the gnu it's not because his political party uh, uh, it's not because he's fulfilling uh, policies of his political party he's representing the gnu and according to him he's putting the gnu first before his party so you can only imagine the benefit from everything it does all the popularity goes to the gnu and his support for president Ramaphosa. he's protecting president Ramaphosa. he doesn't speak anything about his political party maybe because he's saying he doesn't want to be selfish he's doing this for the country it's fine but how many political parties within the gnu they are still keeping their their reality their sense of themselves as individual political parties the anc is still pure anc they wear anc regalia they still represent the anc all of them even going to the provincial uh, gnus uh, provincial AUs, whatever unities conducted in the provinces the anc still represents itself individual look at the da the da they are themselves they represent themselves when they are here when they are unhappy within uh, the gnu they raise out their concerns they are still an independent party but mr getting mckenzie he wants to avoid his political party so with all of that being said and all of that being analyzed i'm not doing this out of bad faith yeah of course you are right i don't like patriotic alliance i will never vote for patriotic alliance i don't like mr Gaten mckenzie i don't like him as a politician i don't like what he stands for i've never believed in him i don't believe in him so you can say maybe what i'm saying is based on me not liking him but tell me if i'm wrong him not representing his political party as a minister do you think his political party will ever win votes next elections Firstly, let's analyze how he got so much votes. He promised the people of Western Cape, uh, colored people to be specific, that is going to finally fulfill uh, their cries as colored people. Hey, colored people, vote for Mr. Gaten McKenzie, he's also colored. They went and voted for him, thinking how this colored brother of ours is going to finally try to change the situation for us as colored people. They gave him votes in the Western Cape. He promised to deal with the Cape Flats, and the crime and gangsterism happening there he promised to deal with it they voted for him colored people the western cape that's where he got majority of votes another thing that made him rise to fame was foreigners must go abraham now he doesn't speak about foreigners must go abraham he watches how he speaks he watches how he uploads he doesn't just say foreigners he doesn't even host conferences for his political party he doesn't even go to meetings for his political party he doesn't even wear the regalia of his political party anymore you know yeah like the suits you know government officials so that's where this has become so my analysis is based on that observation if he is behaving like this what does it say about the potential uh, what does it say about the vote he might lose or might gain in the future him not representing his party it won't attract people to his political party it won't attract people uh, uh, closer to him 
Because even his deputy president is right wing man. He's not that interesting. People don't care about him. People care about Mr. Gaten McKenzie. And he doesn't seem to be involved in the affairs of his party anymore. His political party hasn't been participating in the by elections. So he's not there in the crowd. He's not there in front of people. He hasn't been participating. So he's not there on the ground representing the people as his political party. Pala, when you say GNU, that means now he's working for, for, for the ANC. It's just another ANC minister, another ANC spokesperson. It's just another sympathizer of the Honorable uh, President Sir Ramaphosa. Because you can't say he's working for the GNU. Yeah, he is working for the GNU, but he's still a president of Patriotic Alliance. But he seems to not care about Patriotic Alliance. So that's where my analysis is coming from. I don't know, I don't care how you are going to take this. I wanted to speak about this because I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about different political parties. But I felt like, let me just make this and predict a political parties that are within the GNU. The DA, I don't think it's going to lose power. Because white people, the same people who keep on voting for it, they keep on voting for it. They don't want to vote for any other party because uh, somehow it's white people, it's a white political party. So they will continue voting for the DA. So the DA is intact. It's intact with the amount. The DA will never get more votes unless they rig the elections. They will only have the votes they have now. They will never exceed the type of votes they have. They've never exceeded these votes before. It's either they stayed here or they went down. They came back, they went down, they came back. So they, there is no other limit, like high limits for the DA. But Patriotic Alliance, they only got 2%. And that 2% was sympathized by the colored people in Western Cape. But now that it doesn't speak anything about uh, the cries of colored people, what makes him think that he's going to get something next? He won't. He won't. And you guys are going to sympathize with him. And you're just delusional. You are not being realistic because you're going to be lying to him. You are going to be lying to him and to yourself to, to allow yourself to believe that next elections, Gaten McKenzie's political party uh, will win. Will win more votes. I don't think so. I don't believe so. But you guys can tell me what you think. Put my dislike for Gaten McKenzie aside. And just listen to what I just said. Am I lying to predict such things? Am I lying to analyze such things, uh, potential things to happen in the future for the Patriotic Alliance? Am I reaching? Am I the one who's delusional? But hey, it is what it is. Thank you very much. Dango.